Microsoft was this close to getting it right. Last week, or I should say the end of last week, just a couple days ago, Microsoft had what I would say was a great announcement for Windows 11. They finally came out and said, hey, these are the devices and the processors that are going to support the OS and everything seemed okay. Now, it's not perfect because they did add a few couple chips to the, the spec list and whatever. The news that really made headlines was that if you wanted to install Windows 11 on older hardware, you would be able to do so either through the Windows Insider program or to download the Windows installation media tool, put it on a USB drive, install it, and off you were go up and running Windows 11. That was the end of the story. That's what Microsoft was telling us. We had a briefing where there was other things going on and this is how Microsoft said, hey, you can continue to run Windows 11 and everything seemed great, except that they left off one tiny itty bitty little detail. And that little detail is that if you are running Windows 11 in an unsupported state, which unsupported being the key, Microsoft may not allow you to install updates, including security updates, which means that your device could be vulnerable to attack or just exploit or anything else. So yes, you can run Windows 11, but there's a chance that you may not be able to install updates and they may not be compatible and everything else. And more importantly, the security updates may not arrive. Now, the reason why that's such a big deal is in the enterprise space, if somebody were to be running in this state, they would definitely be needing the security updates. So this now becomes non-negotiable that you absolutely cannot do this. The question becomes, why didn't Microsoft just say this? I mean, it seems logical and they could have bundled it up and be like, look, that's just the way it is. If you want to run it, you're rolling your own dice. That is okay, but I don't, it doesn't feel great, but whatever. I think the reality is that the team who came up with this, this route looked at it and said, okay, this works. And so the news went out and as it percolated up, it either got to like a, it got to some sort of level, level, either legal saw it or somebody else saw it and said, Hey, we need a caveat in here because here's the issue that I think may have caused this statement to come out. Let's say it's seven years from now and you have a core i3 device or something else that you've shoehorned windows 11 onto and it's been running great but microsoft all of a sudden can't ship a security update to you they don't want to be liable for that yes they did say an unsupported state but microsoft needed it in clear language that says hey we are not supporting you in any capacity you are off on your own and there you go we reserve the right to not ship updates to these devices I think that is what's happening is that they're putting a catch all out there so that they are not liable in any capacity across any venue, across any medium to make it updates available to these devices. I think that is what has happened. And I don't want to say we're reading too much into it, but it really does out in clear, clear language acknowledge that if you run Windows 11 in an unsupported state, you are not entitled to these updates. It doesn't mean Microsoft's not going to ship them to you and you still might be able to get them and shove them on your device. But at the end of the day, Microsoft is not guaranteeing that they will support that. They're not guaranteeing you'll be allowed to do it. So there's a lot of balls that are being juggling. And what I think the reality here is, is that if you want to run Windows 11 on an older device, say just a, a fifth gen processor, pick your flavor of whatever it is, something you know that won't run it today, you might want to just hold off like a month or two to see how other people fare with updates at the end of the day are they actually getting them are things going okay and that might be a better barometer if you should try it on your own at the end of the day this path or these paths with insiders and everything else is a way for enthusiasts which is i will fully agree with them is probably a very very tiny fraction of the market because enterprise is not going to do this they're going to be sticking on windows 10 more than likely until a hardware refresh mom and pop shops or mom and pops i should just say moms and dads are not going to be out there running to windows 11 if they have older hardware they probably just don't care they just want to get on their, their click their blue e or whatever they're clicking and just surf the web it's not going to matter it's only the people who know about windows 11 have something older than an a, a, a seven gen or older device or a zen or what is it zen one amd chip and older that are going to be impacted by this so again it's a very small sliver but they're also a very loud and vocal minority and so just keep that in mind i'm going to link to this in the other video so that people are aware but keep in mind that if you shoehorn windows 11 onto a device that was not intended to be it you are not entitled to these updates doesn't mean they're not going to come just means you're not entitled so that's it guys that's the one minor but realistically major thing that microsoft left out and if you want to make sure you're updated on everything else that's going on in the world of Windows, make sure to keep it subscri subscribed here if I can enunciate, because the only BS on this channel is me.